The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And of course, a very special Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at for this special Power Trading Hour, as long as you're here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? The Fed's out. Of course, uh, I didn't look, but I'm pretty sure that he has a, a, a shindig, a, a brouhaha, ha ha, at uh, 2.30. So we've got about uh, 23 minutes before he gets some questions. I don't think that changes anything. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of that, this and that. Um, Dow was up, uh, I don't know, 150 points or something. I think when I saw it earlier and now we've got uh, what I would say is kind of more of a uh, what up let's see what we got here it's moving around too fast too much moving going on eh, so we're down up 75 on the down now um, up 48 on the S&P cash uh, as I said we, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs I suspect uh, that we're going to have a long slog into the Memorial Day weekend. And it's going to be a lot of action like this. I'm going to just sit on my hands and uh, and uh, wait for the short end to come in. I could be wrong, but I think that's the, rate, the way we're going. And maybe that happens a little after uh, if Powell makes some comments uh, that uh, are untoward uh, to the incredible rosy picture that many people are – painting uh, even in the face of probably at least what a percent and a half more uh, rate hikes before they even think of stopping um, so we shall see but uh, I think that there are some bigger problems out uh, facing us in the near future and if you're not going to change the policy and we've seen what the policies uh, are of the last, uh, I don't know, 18 months. I don't see how you see a different outcome. There isn't going to be any helicopter money coming in. There isn't going to be uh, any giant spending bills. I think we did get the one for the SMH uh, today, and that's about it. Uh, it's unclear how much of or any of that money actually is going to get spent. So I think a lot of people voted for it just on the hopes of it. But... Uh, yeah, there's a reason why we don't have fabs here in the country except one, which I think is up in Wisconsin. I'm trying to remember the name of it. A little tiny one. But my guess is <clears throat> they won't go any easier. There was nothing in the bill about fending off uh, the EPA, which just makes it too expensive to actually – uh, produce chips here in the United States. The only reason we have that tiny one is some specialized chips that go to the military. Oh, I want to say one sky or sky something. It's in Minnesota or Wisconsin, something like that. I'll think about it uh, as we go. But anyway, uh, I think that's uh, uh, kind of some good feel-good stuff. Uh, whether that $50 billion ever makes it to uh, anybody is... Uh, yeah, I'd say a 50-50 chance. Uh, a lot of people are just uh, thinking it was more of a political stunt than anything else. So we shall see. 877-927-6648. Is it Skyworks? Eh, I'll think about it here in a minute. It sounds, uh, it's not Skyworks Solutions. Uh, I wrote about it about five or six months ago. Uh, but uh, there is one. <laughs> it doesn't do much, uh, but that's it. 877-927-6648. Uh, Email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always uh, put uh, a message in the den that we're looking for. Uh, so what do we have going on here? 
Uh, just kind of holding steady, up 50 on the S&P, up 276 on the NASDAQ. Uh, a lot of people ask me about uh, what uh, the response was for Microsoft and those others. I think a lot of people just truly believe that it's one quarter and then that's it. I didn't get that sense from listening to the Microsoft call. I think a lot of people are wanting to make sure to keep this thing up and they're going to be selling other things against it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't see, you know, can you keep a stock up for a few days? Can you run some shorts? Yeah. Do I see anybody uh, deciding to get in and go full tilt boogie on Microsoft and some of these others? Not really. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start looking at earnings, too? And we had some discussions in the den. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got – do we have more here? Uh, 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 that's all we have here. Okay. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, anyway, we're going to look at some of the winners and losers of the day. Uh, the biggest one is Sava. And I was saying in the den, I had a couple people email me. I don't have any insight to these companies, uh, nor do I spend a lot of time chasing them. Uh, and that is biotechs. Uh, very tough, even if you are probably on the inside to know what's going to happen to these. I don't think I have an advantage. Maybe somebody else does. Uh, but uh, I'm not a big fan of them. Just to let you know that you know, the the odds of startups uh, actually coming out with the drug and breaking even on all the cash coming in is about 10 to 1. So that's why most of the bigger companies out there will allow these smaller companies to get involved in something, show something work, and then they'll buy it because uh, the attrition rate is just so horrific. Uh, back here. It didn't really give a big signal here. did blow through the lows, and it's the uh, biggest loser today, down 22%. But uh, I don't have any inside knowledge. You can write anything in the newspapers anymore, I was saying before. I don't know how you you read a newspaper and believe anything if uh, three Pulitzer Prize uh, winners for stories over the last four years uh, uh, are proven that it was literally all made up lie for the story yet they get to hold on to their Pulitzers so uh, news or propaganda seems to me like uh, if you allow that to stand literally anything can so I don't know how you can prove the up and downside I think there's some facts you can look at and glean and that is is someone charged or not charged uh, on this one like I said, no in uh, insides. If Reuters, though, says a couple people from the Justice Department says that uh, there's probably some smoke, um, there's too many other stocks out here for me to look at to get involved in a land war in China, if you know that reference from Princess Bride. We'll be back in a minute. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. As we go through some of the other earnings today, uh, kind of a few of these folks sleeping, maybe a little too short. Spotify had a nice bounce out here. It's up 11, 12 percent. Uh, got to 121.67. Is not going to break out of uh, the left hand shoulder from about uh, the end of May to uh, the first week of June. Um, well, volume's pretty good, but again, I think a lot of people were short this. I've never really understood how these companies are going to make money. Uh, we've talked about companies I don't understand about how they don't make money like Roku, Spotify, never understood the music business ever making any money. Uh, my, uh, Apple pretty much destroyed the recording industry. Um, I don't, you know, as far as I can tell, people are just kind of famous for being famous, the kind of the Cardassian thing in music now, which isn't very good for a long-term success in it. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people putting in current music in advertising. Everything I see is back to the 70s or 80s. Um, maybe I'll see an ad with uh, some real house music or uh, rap, but uh, haven't seen it. Uh, haven't seen it yet. I think that tells you something about the business of Spotify. Maybe people listen to this stuff, but I have a feeling a lot of people, uh, it's just kind of a bad business to be in. Uh, even with uh, some of the other stuff going on around it, the move to uh, podcasts is a little better probably, but I don't think it changes the trajectory of being in a bad neighborhood. Uh, and yeah, is it probably ever going to get any better? Eh, hard to think. It took 40 years for the uh, airline business to get out of the cycle of uh, going bankrupt every uh, three or five years, only to, to come out of bankruptcy, to go back into bank bankruptcy. Maybe these uh, companies like XM Satellite, Spotify, the rest uh, that uh, kind of depend on this. I don't know. Buggy whips? I think maybe that's the best way to look at them. Uh, ADP is up today. 
Uh, nice candle on this one, but not nice volume. Uh, it is breaking through the May 31st high. That had 3 million shares. Uh, you don't have the volume on that, though, today. About 1.2 million shares compared to that 3 million share high. Uh, you've got some other ones out here. Uh, and, of course, on a Fed day, you're kind of probably going to see a few more of these kinds of things. Uh, another big loser of the day is Sherwin Williams. And you got to you kind of had to think uh, that this housing business is going to be problematic for time to come. But certainly uh, painting houses is uh, a business that probably has hit its high for a little while, at least painting new houses. Uh, you still have a low at 214.22. That comes in with about 2.6 million shares. You know, about six bucks higher than that, six and a half bucks higher than that today. But you got absolutely monster volume, so you got to look at testing 214.22 before you can make any other uh, movement out here. A uh, big winner in the uh, biotech space is Teva Pharmaceuticals. Uh, this one is up 23% uh, today. Uh, really didn't give any kind of indication out here that much was going on. Uh, but certainly a huge day on huge volume. Uh, next stop is probably $9.52 at June 2nd high. Uh, again, on the loser side is Kraft Heinz uh, ketchup down on some big volume. You would think uh, the makers of the vegetable in a bottle uh, probably would be doing better by now. I didn't look in or read the news out here. You got 14 million shares, though, going into uh, to a 28 million share low at 34.76. So... Yeah, is that going to be support? Well, you, you kind of got close to that today. My guess, though, is you're going to see these things pull back to those levels and test them. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have on my list of stuff? General Dynamics, kind of flat, GSK. Uh, uh, got a little bit of a bounce out here in T-Mobile. Um, you got some decent volume, 3 million share high before. Uh, you got about uh, 5 million shares into it now, but it's not holding that high. I think a lot of people are all wanting to say, uh, I'll show you, you mine if you show me yours, but you got to show me yours first. And uh, certainly uh, when it came time for the breakout, uh, it did not hold. 138.98 on T-Mobile. Uh, is the June 6th high with 3 million shares, and you're into it with 5.2, but not, well, maybe not holding it. 139, well, you're at 139.14, so you're right there. Maybe there is something more in that. Uh, to, 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 another big winner out here. Uh, it kind of been moved down lower on unionization talks, uh, just like Starbucks and some of the others. Uh, but uh, he had a lot of people short this stock. I don't think the earnings were that good or the numbers were that good, uh, but certainly uh, it's being pushed that way. But uh, a great deal more about this one was probably a lot of people thinking it was going to go back down to 1,000. But uh, who knows? People paying up for burritos. Uh, you can put that in your pipe and smoke it for the next month or two. Uh, we got Skyworks, got that. Uh, Meta, after the bell tonight, right? They haven't reported. Pretty sure tonight after the bell, right? Yeah. Uh, 405. Uh, two, two, two. Let's go ahead and clean this up here. Um, two, two. You got to bounce. It's just with the market. Um, again, uh, whether it's Google or these, uh, I have a feeling that uh, these things are going to shortly be on sale. As I said, uh, I think that there's a, a great big danger out there looming, mostly in Europe, and mostly everybody over here is ignoring it. And uh, that is some of the new laws over here. So uh, whether it's Microsoft, which is probably going to be affected a little, or uh, Google and uh, uh, Metamucil, 
going to be affected a lot. I think a lot of people are whistling past the graveyard on that, uh, on these um, having disappointing earnings and still going higher. I think a lot of people uh, not listening to the CEOs. Maybe they know something we don't. But uh, my guess is that uh, Google and uh, uh, the others are not sandbagging and uh, there'll be something else. Uh, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And I had a question uh, why I thought music business was kind of toast um i think it's the same thing that we had years ago when there were only three real networks and you knew the shows and everybody else knew which shows were on at night and knew the people in them uh pretty soon you got kind of real uh balkanized that's with a b not vulcanized like rubber balkanized like the balkan states um there just isn't enough people uh, anymore uh, that know what one particular song is. Maybe there are a bunch of people that hang around some rock uh, rap star or something, but uh, I think the shelf life for those things are, what, about five minutes? 
Uh, it reminds me of the Andy Warhol thing. Everybody gets uh, fame for 15 minutes, but I think that's about it. I think it's about 15 minutes. I don't think there's any staying power anymore in the music industry, uh, with the a very exception of a couple of folks. Uh, at the very highest levels these days that'll pay big money for concert tickets. But, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, they, they pay more money for riots now. What was that Astros thing last year? That, uh, that more typifies the uh, kind of thing going on, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, a uh, question from Aether Systems, A-E-H-R, uh, and whether or not I see a whole lot in it. I think that now that we have the bill sort of passed, the only company from the, me skimming over it today, for at least what was in the text, that even possibly is going to really be able to to uh, uh, do well on that is uh, probably Intel. And why it didn't say Intel on the bill, it was basically... Intel, please start making your chips here. Some other design uh, inferences, but again, uh, design a much different issue. Doesn't really matter whether the chip's designed if you can't get it. And getting it, especially uh, against a backdrop of China trying to take over the entire semiconductor industry, and probably could with an invasion of Taiwan, uh, we should uh, be very wary of uh, not having the actual at least half of what we use uh, in the uh, chip making place here uh, in our country. Uh, even if they're somewhere else, uh, China is m much more willing to uh, put the heavy arm on a country uh, than us and probably would succeed, uh, especially now with our weakened state, uh, both militarily and uh uh, politically on the world stage. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Don't think that there's uh, anything more in the SMHs now than a little blip and that Intel is the only one that could conceivably use this. I know a lot of other people said uh, that they wanted to get on it. The bill was pared down quite a bit uh, from what it was. So even today with the passage in the Senate, uh, not much action on Intel, which would be the big recipient. So either it's all priced in uh, or, uh, you know, there's not much else going on there. But Intel has a lot of problems of its own, almost all self-inflicted. Okay, what else do we have out here? Uh, two, 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 two. We looked at CMG, looked at Meta. Uh, Texas Instruments, TXN. Uh, up 4%. Again, I think a lot of people were a little bit more bearish than they needed to be. Texas Instruments really doesn't make anything that is ultra special these days. Uh, they make a lot of uh, almost commodity level chips, although they are a little specialized. They, they're better than a Chinese company just making ripoffs. Uh, but not as good as something like an NVIDIA or an AMD or some of these others with, uh, you know, three, four, five, six hundred percent profit margins. Texas Instruments stuff, uh, I think some of the biggest stuff they have maybe have 200 percent margins on it. There just isn't that big. Uh, okay. Um, you got a bounce in Texas Instrument, but gave most of it up. Again, I don't see a lot here. We'll see. Uh, a lot more after the Fed quits talking. And uh, Aunt Blabby just started. So we shall see. I think everybody's far, far and away, way ahead of the tips of their skis at the moment. Yeah. But uh, how many of their things really make that huge, as I used to call it, and everybody else I knew called it, they make a Texas instrument, makes glue. They make all the chips that actually get uh, plugged in to other bigger things on bigger margin products for the most time. They make some less expensive stuff too, but uh, it tends to be on a price competitive kind of products. I don't see them making uh, Intel or uh, Apple or other kinds uh, net 65% margins. 
like many others. Uh, lots of stuff that people need, just doesn't make the margins. Uh, two, 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 okay. Let's see out here. Question about Boeing. Uh, they had their earnings. I don't know. I think most of the bounce is in on this thing. As I said, we came right up to this double gap. Uh, the last one was on April 27th on the way down. Uh, that one was with uh, 40 million shares. So we are kind of got right back to it again. Um, the original gap is part of a monster gap higher uh, that goes back to September 9th of 2020. Uh, when I think there was uh, th this was yet another bill that came out of Congress uh, on them, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember now. Anyway, a huge day on 49 million shares. So, you know, that gap out there is still, it came back, it busted it, came back up to it. But that part of that gap still exists. And uh, on the t -t -t July 22nd, you tested at 12 million shares today, got about 12.2, but came back down. I'd like to see about a 50% retracement on this uh, and see if the volume dries up before I think that there's any reason to go after it. Um, again, I think we're going to need Congress to, you know, if you wanted me to be bullish on Boeing, uh, very bullish, one that I'd actually put my own money into it, I'd want to see Congress move the... Uh, the uh, retirement age up for senior pilots and move the 1,500 hours to sit in the right seat, maybe move down to 1,000 or something. Because uh, right now you don't have enough pilots, and that's going to be the deciding factor probably for years to come. Uh, now, in Europe, you can have, I think, 250 hours and sit right seat in a 737. So it tells you probably everything you need to know. <laughs> we have, uh, I, I would rather have a 1,500-hour uh, pilot, but the question is going to be whether or not you can actually, if you want to go long Boeing, you have to think that there are going to be the pilots there to sit in those right seats. Uh, the left seat's probably not a problem. They can move everybody up. Okay, to two. Uh, we looked at Google. Did we do a chart to Microsoft? I don't think we did. We'll come back in a minute. FNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we return, uh, yeah, we looked at Microsoft, so there's not much there. I think we got some other one. Uh, okay. I don't see much. You got volume here, but. Okay. One of the big winners out here, CCJ. I don't know if there's anything else going on. Uh, besides what has, you're coming back into this gap down. The gap down had uh, 8.7 million shares. You got about that today. So you did get kind of a boost out of here. I think that's a lot on China uh, and then moving. Question about Apple, AAPL. Uh, you're just back up into the high from the other day. You had 66 million shares today. You got 41. I think there are a lot of people very, very extensively bullish here today, and I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, let's go back out here. Question about the XLE. Eh, call me a skeptic out here. Um, just an inside day on the XLE. So not much uh, to scream about there. Uh, eh, eh. Okay, APL. Okay, GLD. We'll go through that. Yeah, got a little bit there. There's no volume, though. It doesn't matter what it is. The last three days have been sideways. Maybe waiting for the Fed. Maybe you get more volume before the end of the day. And again, kind of uh, if-ish. Looks at the SMHs. Question about Tesla from John. T-S-L-A. Uh, hard to say. Um, as we talked the other day, I think that 850 level in this gap is where it's going to. It's going to be pretty hard resistance levels right there. 877-927-6648. Okay. And get this all updated here. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got that one. Just going through my list here of stuff. We'll get the rest of it here. Two, 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 okay, IBB. Okay, take a quick look at that. Um, certainly sideways action out here today. You're really not in it or out of any trading range. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Get that. Uh, S&P at uh, 4,011. 
So you got something going on here. Uh, to to okay. I'm just not exactly sure why. <laughs> Did he say anything about not raising rates anymore? Eh, don't know. That's uh, part of being on why this thing happens. Did I see anything in dust? Uh, D. Yeah, and we talked about this the other day uh, on the uh, move here. Uh, yeah, you kind of just going to close right at it, though, probably today. It would make, take a lot of movement to get the thing underneath it. But again, probably some kind of movement back again. Okay. Let's see what else we have out here. Okay, question on U and G. Well, you went up. Uh, you went into the previous high that had 14.7 million shares with 12 million shares. Uh, you're about uh, three weeks away from the strongest part of uh, the natural gas cycle, which is the end of August. So, yeah, any pullbacks, if you're not long already, any pullbacks, probably get it. I thought it would come back and stay around 26 most of the summer, but uh, too many uh, news articles about uh, Putin shutting off the gas uh, ran it a little earlier than I thought. But, uh, yeah, 20, yeah, I'd have to have it back at about 26 to get back in. And you might get that. Sometimes you get some different stuff. Uh, question on the TLT. Take a quick look at that. Okay. So, yeah, you just have an inside day on yesterday's downside with more volume. So, no real call here yesterday. I mean, today on yesterday's action, which was a huge. Uh, buying of uh, of bonds, eh, you you know you're not ready to move. You really need to get below that three by three line before anything happens, and we're not there quite yet. Question about looking at the usual suspects. Uh, AMD had some pretty high short interest. Uh, you're just uh, up against the trend line at the moment. Volume's not all that exciting. Let's take a look at in. VDA and C. Yeah, same thing on it. You're just there. Maybe you're gonna close a little bit above it, uh, but uh, yeah, problems are probably gonna go into the third quarter uh, for both AMD and Nvidia. Now, looked at Microsoft. Uh, question on MU. Take a quick look at it. Uh, you've gone below. You're not getting back above it. This is kind of the best barometer of the SMHs because everything needs memory. But uh, yeah, I don't see a lot in here. you got three days of declining volume. Maybe there's more volume before the end of the day, but doesn't look a great deal like there's a bunch out there to me. Uh, any chance that it's time to come back into Planeteer? Planet, uh, plan Planeteer? Uh, just a lot of sideways action as far as I can tell. I don't see uh, much going on on that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, XLE, XME. When we return, take a quick look at the XME for Robert. This 
Mr. Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Mr. Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Mr. Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Mr. Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Mr. Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, see what we have here. Uh, up uh, 96 points on the S&P cash. And we'll see how the close, but I don't know. Seems like everybody's suddenly incredibly bullish. And I missed, I missed the memo on what changed out here. But uh, eh, won't be the first or last time that I'm wrong. But uh, the only sin is staying wrong, not being wrong. Uh, what else do you have out here T -t -t to CCJ, IBB, T -t -t Apple, we looked at that. Question about IBM. Any movement on it today? I don't think so. Maybe kind of whiffed on earnings and that's about it. You got at least it's closing back into the and above the 3x3 three three displaced moving average. So you, maybe the worst of it in the short term is over. But it's uh, going to take a while to get any of this going. Uh, did we talk about the XME? I don't think so yet. We'll take a look at that. Okay. And we'll see. Eh. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so let's look at this. You've got, we're right back into this shoulder before it fell apart, going back down to the the uh, July 6th. But uh, I don't think you can say anything about it like that. Uh, again, the last 30 minutes of the day, much more important than what goes on when you're talking, because everybody will have a chance to actually look and see what he said today. Like me. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll be back tomorrow. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.